वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ आर चैप्टर यूजफुल एंड हार्मफुल माइक्रोब्स इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी ऑलरेडी लर्न दैट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स दे आर लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स विच कैन ओनली बी सीन विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ माइक्रोस्कोप एंड वी सॉ दैट बैक्टीरिया प्रोटोजोआ फंगाई एंड वायरसेस आर ऑल दी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स विच आर कंसिडर्ड अंडर माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स Uh, we saw that microbes are uh, categorized as useful microorganisms and as harmful microorganisms and in the previous uh, video we have already covered these three types of micro uh, microorganisms which are lactobacilli rhizobium and yeast we saw how these three microorganisms are useful to us in our day to day life uh, now we move on to the next part of our chapter where we will be studying about harmful microorganisms and under harmful microorganisms we will basically be learning about two types of microorganisms which are fungi and clostridium now fungus is or fungi is what we have seen in our day to day life uh, in our houses as well uh, you must have seen that if uh, jams or if pickles are kept for a very long time without opening uh, when you open it up after a very very long time after many many days you might find some uh, whitish precipitate or whitish uh, dots which are uh, floating around uh, on the top layer of the jam or on the top layer of your pickles okay uh, usually what uh, is that we do is that we take a spoon and we remove uh, we scoop out that layer and we throw it out and we happily uh enjoy the jam or the pickles but actually for your information these white floating things that we see in the jams and pickles is actually uh, fungus okay and just by removing them uh, removing that floating discs and throwing it out and then consuming the remaining pickle or the jam is absolutely not at all good for health okay because the fungus is growing on the top layer but the uh the the spores which are present of the uh, fungus is already present inside the jams and inside the pickle the roots the rhizoids of the fungus is already grown into the uh, pickles and in the jams so what is happening is that if you find any bottles of jams or pickles which are uh, infected with the fungus it is better that you throw away that entire thing because the entire thing is already uh, contaminated by the fungus uh during the rainy seasons you must have already or uh, you must have also seen if you have uh, leather shoes you have fungus which is growing on top of the leather shoes uh, tiny white patches of fungus grows on the leather shoes okay and uh, you must have seen these uh, patches even growing on leather bags or on gunny bags uh, the jute bags that we use for storing uh, different types of things you must have seen that during rainy season the funguses can be growing on them even on leather bags even on leather belts if you have leather belts then uh, you can have fungus growing on them as well uh, you must have seen fungus is growing on trees okay so these are different places wherein you have fungus is growing and you must have observed it in your day to day life as well now what happens is that when this fungus is growing on the shoes or on the purses on the gunny bags or on your belts leather belts the fungus is actually pulling the nutrition from the leather because leather is uh, is uh, derived uh, from the skin of the animals so there is a little amount of nutrition left in that leather okay so the fungus is easily able to absorb the nutrition which is present in the leather and grow but what is happening to the leather the leather becomes weak okay you might see that shoes which are uh, covered with fungus after a few months they start tearing off at different places the bags start tearing gunny bags become weak they are not able to hold that much amount of things within themselves so the funguses which grow on these different types of things makes the things very very weak okay so uh, basically funguses is one of the harmful microorganisms and uh, we have to take care if we find fungus growing on our food uh, we should not consume that food because it can be toxic to our health uh the next is uh, clostridia uh clostridia this is the uh, this is how it looks under the electron microscope they are rod shaped or rectangular shape 
they are anaerobic bacteria which is uh, they cannot withstand normal oxygen levels they uh, if the oxygen level is present around them if there is more amount of oxygen present around them then the bacteria will start dying but it can survive without the presence of oxygen so uh, it is called as anaerobic bacteria they live in the alimentary canal of humans and other animals the alimentary canal that is your uh, small intestines and the large intestines that is where you find your clostridia bacteria uh, next uh, we move on to aids uh, the full form of aids is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome it is caused by a virus which is called as the hiv virus uh, the mode of infection it can be spread from one person to the other through the blood that is uh, if you are uh, if any person is going around and taking uh, injections without actually checking the type of uh, blood which is being uh, injected into the body especially this happens in case of uh, drug addicts who have sharing of needles sharing of syringes okay they can definitely get affected by these diseases uh, by uh, milk and uh, sexual fluids uh, it can be transferred from a mother to the child when the child is in the womb of the mother or it can be transferred from the mother to the child through the milk that the child has uh, the preventive measures uh, safe sexual practices and avoiding of sharing of needles and syringes next uh, we look at hepatitis this is a hepatitis virus as it is uh, seen under an electron microscope the mode of infection it can be uh, spread through water or through food contaminated water or food uh, preventive measures clean and filtered water your water has to be boiled cleaned and filtered and then it can be uh, consumed proper storage of food the food that you consume has to be clean it has to be covered and it has to be prepared under hygienic conditions next is influenza virus the influenza or as you commonly call it as flu uh, this is how it looks under an electron microscope it is caused by a virus the mode of infection uh, if you come in contact with an infected person if one person is already suffering from flu if someone else comes in contact with that person then the second person can also get the flu or influenza preventive measures personal hygiene social distancing from infected person so you should uh, keep yourself neat and tidy clean uh, have proper breath your proper your personal hygiene should be proper and if anyone else is suffering from influenza you should maintain social distance from that person next is uh, measles and chickenpox these are uh, tiny uh, reddish color things which appear on the body or rashes which appear on the body this is how a measles uh, virus uh, looks like and this is how a chickenpox virus looks like under a uh, electron microscope both of them are viruses and the mode of infection if you come in contact with a infected person if one person is already suffering from measles or from chickenpox if you are in touch with that person then it can happen that the second person can also get the measles or the chickenpox preventive measures vaccination there are specific vaccinations which are given to children for measles and for chickenpox uh, the other thing is you have to keep yourself clean and you should be having uncontaminated food and water personal hygiene is also very important in this case and the food and the water that you consume has to be clean and hygienic next is the dengue virus this is how the dengue virus looks under a mi uh, electron microscope it is caused by a virus the mode of infection is mosquito bites uh, the prevention measures how do you uh, avoid getting dengue keeping your surrounding clean cleanliness of the surrounding and mosquito controlling you should make sure that your surroundings are free from any water logging especially during this rainy season uh, you have to make sure that if you have uh, water getting collected in any place you should uh, try to get it get rid of that water if you have uh, fl flower plants uh, in your balconies you should make sure that there is no water getting collected under those spots because these are uh, hot spots for uh, the mosquitoes uh, breeding they can uh, very nicely lay eggs in that water in that stagnant water and the 
larva can uh, generate and uh, can develop in that stagnant water and uh, the mosquitoes can easily grow in that water so we have to make sure during the rainy seasons that we do not allow any stagnation of water taking place anywhere prevention of stagnation of water so that is the main prevention uh, measure for uh, avoiding dengue bird flu or uh, swine flu bird flu is also called as h7n1 n9 and this is how the uh, virus looks under an electron microscope a uh, swine flu is called as h1n1 and uh, this is the picture of the uh, virus under a uh, electron microscope both of them are uh, spread because of contact with an infected bird or animal okay uh, the uh, bird flu can uh, usually affect birds like uh, chickens and swine flu is usually affecting uh, animals like a uh, swine or a pig preventive measures personal hygiene the people who work in such uh, centers like uh, where uh, where you have poultry uh, farming taking place or swine uh, farming taking place those people have to take care that they keep themselves clean personal hygiene is maintained and whoever is in contact with those people they should also take care of personal hygiene properly cooked meat products uh, whenever you buy any meat products you have to make sure that it is properly cooked you should not have undercooked meat products the next one pneumonia pneumonia is caused by a bacteria which looks something like this under an electron microscope the mode of infection droplets spread in air by infected person if a person is suffering from pneumonia and if he is coughing or sneezing without covering his mouth then that bacteria can get spread in the air around him and uh, whoever is there in that surrounding area can also get infected by the pneumonia bacteria preventive measures vaccines vaccinations are available for pneumonia so children have to be uh, vaccinated with uh, pneumonia vaccines avoid contact with the infected person if there is any person who is already suffering from pneumonia you should make sure that you are not in touch with that person a uh, leprosy leprosy is caused by a bacteria which looks something like this under the electron microscope now uh, let me just tell you that uh, leprosy is uh, a disease which was very common uh, a few decades ago uh, and people were very very frightened of this particular disease uh, the whenever any person from the house was infected by leprosy uh, the family members used to literally throw that person out of the house we could see beggars on the road who were suffering with leprosy and why they were on the road because their family members had thrown them out of the house that time leprosy uh, a few decades ago leprosy was considered a very big disease and people were not able to understand how to take care of a patient of leprosy how to uh, not only take care of that person but how to uh, yourself take care of yourself so that you don't get the disease so at that point of time uh, it was a very very dreadful disease and people whoever had leprosy were suffering a lot they were literally begging on the roads because they did not have any house they did not have any shelter they did not have many hospitals who could take care of them uh, it is caused by a bacteria the mode of infection long term contact with the infected person so if uh, the family if any family member had uh, leprosy and if there was someone taking care of that person for a long period of time it could happen that that person would also end up getting uh, leprosy so that is why uh, in, in many years ago uh, if anyone got leprosy the people were not taking care of their family members and they were just left on the roads to die preventive measures Uh, avoid contact with infected person and their belongings so if anyone has leprosy you should avoid uh, physical contact with that person and also avoid physical contact with the belongings of that person okay but uh, now uh, leprosy is more or less eradicated from our country we can say that india is one of the countries wherein leprosy has been eradicated and we are very very proud of our scientists who have done a very good job with regards to this particular disease and uh, we hope that they do something similar with uh, the covid virus as well and we get rid of covid as well as fast as possible uh, the next one cholera 
it is uh, caused by a bacteria which looks something like this under the electron microscope the mode of infection contaminated food and water and the preventive measures consuming of clean food and water you must have noticed by now children that most of the diseases are caused due to contaminated water due to contaminated food and if you are not taking care of your personal hygiene so you have to make sure that the food that you eat the water that you drink has to be safe it has to be covered it has to be hygienic and you have to keep yourself clean as an individual you don't you are a ninth standard you don't require anyone to tell you to take a bath to to wash your hair nicely to to apply soap on your body properly to take proper care of yourself okay because if you don't do you will fall sick and you can get any number of diseases which are present in the form of various germs which are present around us the best thing is you keep yourself clean you keep your surroundings clean you eat proper clean food you drink uh, clean water and you will be healthy on <coughs> uh, the next one malaria malaria is caused by a protozoa uh, which looks uh, something like this under the electron microscope mode of infection it is caused due to mosquito bites and dirty surroundings again you have uh, uh, mosquitoes growing so you have to make sure there is no stagnation of water around you prevention measures cleanliness of surroundings and mosquito control preventing stagnation of water uh, dandruff scabies and ringworm it is caused by funguses okay dandruff is uh, usually what you get in your hair if you keep scratching your hair at times you find this whitish color powder or flakes which fall off from the hair which is called as dandruff uh, scabies and ringworms are skin diseases which usually occurs at the folds of your skin your wherever your body folds it usually happens at those places now mode of infection contact with infected persons or belongings uh, this also you have to take care uh you must not share uh, your comb with anyone don't use anyone else's comb please have your own personal comb because uh, dandruff usually gets spread from one person to other because of using common combs uh, you should not uh, use other other person's belongings such as uh, towels or clothes you should have your own personal towels you should have your own personal clothes after taking a bath you should have your own separate towel because if you don't maintain all these uh, tiny tiny things if you don't take care of all these tiny things it is not a big thing it is a very small thing but if you don't take care of it you can fall uh, prey to unnecessary diseases which will cause uh, you know unnecessary trouble in your life so you have to make sure that you are not in contact with people who are having scabies or ringworms because uh, you can also get infected by that particular uh, fungus and you should not uh, be in touch with their belongings if anyone is having scabies or ringworms uh, you should make sure that you are not touching those belongings their clothes their towels especially preventive uh, measures personal hygiene avoid contact with the infected person again you have the thing about personal hygiene coming up wherein you have to make sure you keep yourself clean and you keep your surroundings clean okay so with this my dear students we come to the end of this particular chapter uh, you have your unit test coming up very soon so your portion will be your first and the second chapter this particular chapter that we have completed the notes of this will be sent to you very soon okay so till then study well keep yourself safe keep yourself happy and we'll see you soon bye